Hello and welcome to GBN Live. I'm your host, Tracy Hansen. I'm with the Saybrook chapter of GBN. So what's up, Saybrook? Um, thanks for joining us today. I would like to thank our sponsor, Grand Strand Law Group. Uh, they have offices in Myrtle Beach and North Myrtle Beach, and they're uh, ready to be your trusted advisor. They can help you with all your real estate needs, as well as probate, trusts, wills, um, things of that sort. So you can give them a call at 843 492-5422, um, also grandstrandlawgroup.com. Um, and don't forget to give us permission so you can leave your comments in the comment section, any questions that you have for today's guests, but you may have to grant us permission to show that. So you can go to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook, and that will uh, grant us permission to show your comments. So feel free to ask any questions. Today's guest is Tim Nolan with Coastal Refocus. Um, and he is with the Coastal Grand chapter of GBN. So shout out to them too. What's Go up? Coastal Grand. <laughs> um, and we'll be back in just a moment with Tim. So stay tuned. GBN Live is next. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so today we are with Tim Nolan uh, with Coastal Refocus. But before we get into uh, the meat and potatoes of that, tell us a little bit about yourself, Tim, and welcome to our studio. Um, we're happy to have you. So where are you originally from, your family, a little background? Thanks, Tracy, for the welcome. I'm happy to be here. Um, I'm originally from East Tennessee. We always have to differentiate Tennessee if you're, you're from the eastern part or the middle part or the western part. So I'm from Oak Ridge, Tennessee. I've actually noticed that. Part. Yeah, it's a weird thing, <laughs> Tennessee thing. Yeah, okay, very good. How long have you been here? Um, I don't know why this is always a riddle for me anytime anyone asks me. Um, I want to say it's been about eight years now. Mm -hmm. Yep. My wife's a realtor and I have a, a corporate day job and I'm working my way to to becoming full-time real estate photographer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That's fantastic. So why, why did you make the decision then to get into photography if it's something that you're kind of transitioning to? Um, I'm, I'm, I'll be 57 in June. I know that's probably a cardinal sin to say those kind of things on, on public broadcast, but uh, my, I worked in corporate life as a, as an engineer with IBM for many years. Okay. And um, when my wife and I moved to Myrtle Beach, eight years ago, um, I knew that I needed to have a plan B. I needed to have some, some, something else to be able to go do and something that uh, didn't require me to rely on corporate America for my day to day. Mm -hmm. So my wife had always knew she wanted to be a realtor. And I toyed with that idea of being a realtor. And I knew that two, there could not be two realtors in our house together. Right. Um, so I, I honestly just stumbled on real estate photography and took a class and here I am today, three years later. That's, that's pretty interesting because it's, because what a difference from what you were doing to oh, get, to go from totally. that end working with IBM to get, you know, into the creative photography, right. um, yeah. use the other side I of your brain it. kind of thing. Right. <laughs> you know, that's fantastic. <clears throat> um, so I, and one thing I don't think people really understand that because they do have their phones and the cameras take great pictures for what they need it to do, but to really, get into it that, I mean, equipment costs a lot and there's a lot of trends and which I'm sure are all expensive and that kind of thing. So why is it important, um, you know, for your clients to know that you stay on top of these things and that these trends, you know, in the industry. Right. Right. It's, it's like any technology based profession. Um, the technology is mm -hmm. always evolving. And if I don't stay on top of that technology, I, I can get left behind by my competition. Sure. So it's important that I stay up on what the latest is, be it um, property reels using my phone as a mm -hmm. basis or 3D tours or uh, just the proliferation of, inst of, of social instant media, social media. Right. Um, and how so much of what we do is it, it, it can be helped or it can be hurt with social media. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. So much of what we do is in pictures. It's crazy. It is crazy. Videos, right. Crazy. And the technology moves at lightning speed. So, you know, something that comes out is already outdated, you know, right. two days later. So, um, but before we do get into that and the real estate photography, that's not all you do. So I know um, you recently did the headshots for our board members yep. for GBN. Um, so let's talk a little bit about that and um, 
you know, the headshots and that kind of thing. That yeah. I, I, I try to be a one-stop shop for realtors. Mm -hmm. That's how, yeah. that was how my <laughs> philosophy started. And, um, it's, it's grown now into not just photos for real estate. It's grown into headshots for realtors, uh, because mm -hmm. we all need headshots, mm -hmm. right? If you think about all, again, all the social media platforms, everyone needs a, a good headshot. Yes. Um, and there's there's lifestyle media that we can help support, which is kind of is a is you the realtor walking around a, a property and you know doing some decorating things or or whatever. Um, oh, it's a kind of a quirky little, in my opinion, it's a quirky little thing um, in real estate, but it really does show people who you are. And being relatable to people is so important these days, and mm -hmm. that's one of the the cool things about social media. Right. It goes along with one of those trends that you have to keep on top of, right. you know, because they're coming out like that, right. you know. Right. So I didn't even know about that. I'm yep. a realtor. So, yep. you know, yeah, for sure. Um, so so I've heard a lot, too, and I don't quite understand it, about um, HDR, mm -hmm. high high dynamic range, range, mm -hmm. range yep. photography. So um, what is that, really? What, is, what does that mean? So it's there, there's a whole lot of lingo. Um, I don't want to bore you with too much of it. But I did bring my notes, so I've got my, my cheat notes. <laughs> um, I wanted to get it right when I talked through it. Um, it's dynamic range is simply um, a, a, a range of highs and lows of, of a photo, the bright spots, the dark spots, okay. all that stuff. And high dynamic range typically is more pleasing to the eye than something that's that's not think an old photo taken long ago with those little box cameras, those little box Kodak cameras. Um, they took good pictures. They were great back then, but the, the, they're just, they don't have a lot of dynamic range mm -hmm. and dynamic range is a good thing in photography. Um, to, to achieve that, what we do is we shoot a number of photos at different uh, exposures and the, when I first started, I was shooting in three different exposures or three different brackets at different exposures. And the, the photos get, then get taken by software generally. Um, and those three photos are overlaid. And the, the end result is a really nice interesting. High, high dynamic range picture. Okay. So that's where the HDR comes from. Um, now I'm shooting five brackets and I'm also, I'm not doing the, the software blended automation, I'm doing hand blended. So I have I have people that work for me, right. thank goodness, uh, that that really know what they're doing and do a great job with editing, and I'd be lost without them. Right, that's fascinating yeah. how they the photos come together. You know, it's it's yeah, interesting it's to see all five photos separately. You've got two that are darker than normal. You've got uh, one that's that's normal, and then you've got two that are brighter than normal. And to look at those five and think that that's ever going to come out to something that's right. worth anything, you you just shake your head. Right. And and that's, I mean, that's why you have a photographer, you know, if you really want some good photos. Because, yeah, you can take photos with your um, iPhone or you can even go buy an expensive camera and take photos. It doesn't mean, you know, you don't have that knowledge behind it to really right. take some good photos. And, you know, like, especially with real estate photography, that's people search online first, right. you know, so that's what they're seeing first. That's um, how you get people over yeah. the threshold to get in. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's bigger than just the, the HDR approach or the exposure bracketing approach. It's, if you look at a lot of people that, that shoot with their phones and last year, a lot of people did because the market was so hot mm -hmm. and the time, the time to right. sale was so fast. This year, things have slowed down, and I'm seeing my business pick up more because um, homes are not moving as quick. So the, the, the photography really does help. Right. They need and that edge. They do. They mm -hmm. do. And it's, it's honestly, it's a direct representation of your brand mm -hmm. as a realtor. Absolutely. So yeah. it's, it's, it's what I, not, not just to, to glorify my own business, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's really to, to try to. Um, help you grow your brand as well. Yes, because that is that is what it is. You know, it is a life in pictures that everybody is searching online and that represents me, you right. know, as a realtor. So, um, yeah, definitely. Um, so I also know that you have um, different options mm -hmm. or kits, marketing kits for your clients as mm -hmm. well. So can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. Um, as I move along through my notes, um, 
we have we have basic offerings where you can just order pictures mm -hmm. and and i can deliver just the pictures so i have a system that that kind of serves as my backbone uh, from a scheduling perspective as well as from holding all of the photos and distributing all the photos uh, the the marketing kit is a an add to that it's it's kind of another step again to help the realtor mm -hmm. um, so there's a couple aspects to it one is when you when you buy the marketing kit and for me it's it's like a 15 dollar add-on it's it's really nothing um in the cost of a typical photography uh, job for a, a property but it, it gives you a branded and an unbranded website so think branded you have your picture down on the bottom you have your your company logo your name um, and then all of the media will scroll through if you go to that branded website mm -hmm. um, it's set to music it's cool right. um, it's easy to give that link to someone and say go check this house out and then of course your name and your email it's and branded. your phone number is there so when I see it and I want to buy it, I know who mm -hmm. to call, right? Yeah. The other cool twist that we, we have on this is we have a lot of social media templates that capitalize on all of the photos and all the work that we do. So it, it actually, you as the realtor can go pick a template for Instagram, for example, and you can pick three pictures, five pictures, whatever pictures you want. Um, it's constrained by the size of mm -hmm. the image you can display. Uh, but you can you can have some small number of pictures that that really are what you want to highlight in a home, and you can take that and and create that image to directly go onto social media. So think Instagram, oh, TikTok, yeah. Facebook, um, and you right. can put that out there easily with the template. Piece of cake. Easily, then that's that's huge. You know, just being yeah. able to do it because honestly, figuring out that kind of stuff right. takes so much time that if we can just drop it in and post it from right. that. That's fantastic. And I'm really excited to say yeah, that's awesome. that we've, um, I've got an app now. You know, everybody's got an app, right? right? I got an um, app. <laughs> I, I have an app for my business, Coastal Refocus. Um, I actually have one on the Apple Store. And okay. I have one on Android. Um, I can send you links. Yes, But the, the cool part of, of that app is that you can, once you sign in as a realtor, you can go to all of your listings and you can directly see that those template formats you can create and adjust those oh, template wow. formats and you can go straight to social media from oh there. that's cool really handy. yeah that is really handy and so quick too right. you know and that's great as a realtor for your client to be like okay look we're up and running right check it out yep. you know that's awesome yeah so um okay so we're going to take a break right now uh after the break we're going to discuss a little bit more about uh, tim's passion in real estate photography uh, so stay tuned and we will be right back Hi, I'm Jess the San. I've been a canine liaison at Grand Strand Law Group for, oh, 30 years? What's that? You don't believe me. I'm in 30 dog years, of course. First rule of lawyering, read the fine print. Anywho, my humans at Grand Strand Law Group have a combined 20 years experience. I know, not as much as me, but that's in people years. So yeah, still pretty impressive. Real estate, estate planning, or probate, you need GSLG. Grand Strand Law Group. Trust us, we have a dog. Great Business Networking grew out of the idea that by creating lasting friendships within the community, we can make the community even better. I was looking to network with professionals and to be able to refer my clients to somebody that I trust. Well, it's really important to trust the members of the group because uh, we really generate quality referrals and to know somebody, be friends with them and get that the qualified referral is the key to success. It is networking, but it doesn't feel like networking, and that is important to me. Um, I come to the meetings, I have fun, I make great connections, and I help grow my business. GBN. Uh, GBN, these are some of the best professionals in the market, and having that resource available to me, that's priceless. Well, uh, GBN is a network um, of business professionals that build long-lasting friendships that will not only grow my business, but will grow yours as well. Uh, that's what referral marketing is all about. 
GBN really is the most important marketing for your business. Check us out today. All right, welcome back to GBN Live. I'm your host, Tracy Hansen, and with us today is Tim Nolan with Coastal Refocus. The, uh, he's also with the Coastal Grand Chapter of GBN. Uh, I would like to thank our sponsor one more time, Grand Strand Law Group. You can reach them at 843-492-5422. They have offices in Myrtle Beach and also North Myrtle Beach. Um, their uh, email, Grand Strand, I mean, website, grandstrandlawgroup.com. Um, and if you have any questions for today's guest, Tim, you can type them in the um, in the comment section and we'll do our best to get them answered on GBN Live. So Tim, again, thanks for joining us. Um, we were talking about real estate photography before the uh, break a little bit. And I know you have some different packages to choose from right. because you offer a lot of different services. Um, so I'd like to talk a little bit about um, some of these services, like the 360 videos, mm -hmm. and I, I believe they're pretty popular. Like, why they why are. are they getting so popular? You know, I mean, they are really cool. They so. are. <clears throat> excuse me. One of the things that I noticed, um, particularly during COVID, was that people were were obviously a lot more reluctant to get out around other people. So, virtual tours offered uh, a safe way for people mm -hmm. to take a look at a house to to kind of do a, a walkthrough without actually having to be around someone else, uh, but still getting a chance to kind of see it. Right. Um, there's a couple that I do now. One is through Zillow, and for some realtors, that's a bad word. Um, but the the cool stat behind that, if you look at the research, is that uh, the home sell, there's a, there's a number, and I'm not going to remember what the number is right now, but it's the, the, they basically sell in less time than if you don't have a tour so they garner the attention yeah. and it helps get yeah you know the what what you want in a deal and yeah just get the house sold i believe it because everybody's looking online first you right. know so and to do a tour like that in the 360 um you know the the uh 3d tours mm -hmm. as well that's with that uh the matterport camera is that something you do as well right um, I, I do okay. um i don't so there there's a special camera that you can buy from matterport that's that's um, a high dollar investment. Yeah. Um, I use I use something a little different, but it does work with the Matterport software. Mm -hmm. um, what it amounts to for me is that with the Matterport tour, I have to take a photo with my 360 cam on a monopod um, about every four or five or six feet throughout the house. Okay. So wow. I can I sometimes will have to take uh, upwards of a hundred photos depending on the size of the house wow. uh, or the property. And the software, once you submit that or upload it, it um, it knits what it calls knits all that stuff together. And it's a one of the cool things that Matterport does that that um, that their competitor does not do is they they create what's called a dollhouse view. Yeah. So it's this this cool little rendering of a small version of the house. Now it doesn't have a roof and have all the exterior in it, but it's it's got all the rooms kind of stacked together and you can scroll, you can kind of move it around on the screen and you can click anywhere in it and it'll bring that up as if you're you're standing in it and you're walking on a, you know, you can walk around yeah. the house. It's yeah, cool. I've seen that, the dollhouse effect. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, it's like when, you know, you had a dollhouse and you kind of looked in and saw everything, right. you know, um, all together. Right. And, you know, it's kind of neat. But again, that goes back to the technology trends and staying on top of that totally. and knowing, you know, if that's something that, you know, would work for real estate. Right. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I also um, hear about like in, um, the real estate reels. Mm -hmm. So explain like how that works, like, because that has to do with photos as well. So yeah, so the, the I think running theme of this conversation is a lot about social media, mm -hmm. right? Um, one of the, the growing areas in social media is, is video. Mm -hmm. and I think we've all seen um, a lot of press over the last several years that video is, is coming. You need to, if you're not doing video, um, you're not going to be as successful. Right. Um, I think reels help with that. Um, what I, we, we 
twist it a little bit and we call it a property reel, but it's really nothing more than a, a walkthrough of a property highlighting the features of the property and put to music. Um, I'll use a gimbal. I do actually use my phone. That's probably a trade secret, but I do use my <laughs> phone. Um, you know, if you if you do use a gimbal to help smooth the movement, um, and and you have a have it professionally edited so that everything kind of ties together and, and then all the transitions are smooth, and actually in some cases the the transitions happen to the beats of the music if you've got a good editor. Um, it. it results in a really cool product. Yeah. yeah. And so that that's something you see like on Instagram and, yeah. you know, all yeah. the time. And, yeah. and the cool thing about Instagram right now and, and um, TikTok is, is largely about the reels, but with Instagram, if you publish a reel specifically rather than a post or a story, the, the reel can, can garner more attention. Um, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll promote it more through their, their magic Instagram machine uh, so that, that you basically get more attention, right? Which is what we all want, right? And I think that's also with video as well. That when you are posting videos, you're getting better placement, I guess, right? And, you know right. that kind well of said. thing. So that's good to know with Instagram for the reels, yeah. um, as well. And I told you before, I, I've been following you on Instagram for like a long time Stop before I, I know <laughs> before I even knew because your photos are really good. I'm Thank like, you. these are beautiful photos, and you know. They're all local and I love it. So um, yeah, excellent. Yeah, really good. Um, so we, you, you talked a little bit, um, you know, about editing and, and having a, a good editor. So, um, you know, you, you can touch up photos a little bit here and there as mm -hmm. well. And um, there's virtual staging that's going on. And I, and I know with that, like even um, somebody can have a photo, but if they don't want that ugly dresser, they can have that removed right. or, you know, from, that's, yes, that's, ex I, that's exactly that's cool it. too. Yeah, yeah. The, the example. <laughs> Take that, that laundry pile out exactly. of the corner. <laughs> no, I've, I've been in houses. I'm sorry, I had to say that there's so much stuff. It's hard to have enough of a base of a room to to create a clean room. Yeah. Versus the dirty room, but that's the exception in the rule, thankfully. Yeah. And the uh, um, it's it's really helpful. Think in cases of. Um, a car in the driveway mm -hmm. that you don't gotcha. want in the driveway. I always try to ask my, my homeowners to move their cars um, if they can off to the street or something so you don't see them. Um, but if you've got a cat in the window, if you've got, there's just all kinds of things that it helps with. And, and yeah, the cool thing with virtual staging is um, I do work with a lot of builders and the, the, a lot of times those homes, anything in cases with not, without a builder, somebody's already moved out of the house, there's nothing in it. It's it's a lot of times difficult for a prospective homeowner to visualize what their stuff could look like in that space. Yes. So to see what we have is is basically artists that use Photoshop and other tools to take a catalog of um, of furniture, if you will, images of furniture that that they can rotate, manipulate, and put into the space. Um, they will add pictures they'll add flowers mm -hmm. they'll add rugs um it's amazing what i did yesterday we we had we put a fire pit and chairs out on a patio or out on a uh, yeah on a patio and we put um, a table and, and a little dining or a little um lounge area on a screen room that's it's, it's so neat yeah yeah and, yeah. It's, and it's you know you think that it's not going to look good but the tech again here we are back mm -hmm. to technology right uh, the technology has come so far and the capabilities of, of these editors. And I really shouldn't call them editors. They're really artists. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, sh I have to be careful with that word because I, I don't want people to think that it's just all make-believe because it's not. Um, and I strive uh, really hard to make sure that what we do is, um, is authentic and it's not, mm -hmm. not fake. Right, right. Yeah, because there are some photos out there that they're too glamoury, you know, they're too done up. And that that's kind of not really where you want to be either. You know, you want to have a realistic representation, but you want it to look good. Some people love it, I mean, you know, it's to, to each their own. But yeah, that's kind of where my head is. But you're sell, you know, as, as far as real estate, you're selling something. So you have to represent it, right? You know, what you don't want to happen is is like, what I think I've done with my own headshots. You know, somebody meets me and they don't recognize who I am, because the headshot I have online is not the headshot that right. That, you, know, you don't have long blonde hair. That's, that's right. You're, you're, you're 50 years older. Right. 
<laughs> um, all right. Well, that's that. the time where we do a rapid fire so what this is this is a oh. little surprise but it's don't worry um we just we just ask you a bunch of quick questions just to kind of get to know you a little better get off the subject a little bit uh, we're off the um script. but it, yeah we're going off script but <laughs> this is my hidden script ah. <laughs> all right so what was your first job that you ever had first job was in my remember i said i was 57 yeah. <laughs> Um, my first job was in a machine shop that my dad owned and I was just doing manual labor in a machine shop, just working in a machine <laughs> shop, doing whatever dad told yeah, me. Yeah. My dad had a hardware store. That was my first job. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Are you a night owl or an early bird? I am, you know, these days it seems, it feels like I go to bed at nine o'clock and I, I want to wake up at nine o'clock. So right. I, I tend to cat, classify myself as an early bird. Gotcha. Dog or cat person or both? Both. Yeah. Do you have both? We have both at home. There you go. Not necessarily because I chose them, but, <laughs> but they were chosen and there they are. <laughs> Dark or milk chocolate? Dark. Okay. What's your favorite color? Blue. Okay. What's your favorite word or phrase? Awesome. I like it. I say that a lot too. What's your favorite movie? Oh, favorite movie. I'm going to say something and I'm probably going to wish that I didn't say it. Um, I'll just go with a classic. We'll start with the first Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really good. I saw that in the movie theater back, back when. 1977. Yeah. I remember the day yeah. we waited in line to go see yeah. that. I'm not that far off from your age. Um, what's your what's your favorite song? Favorite song. And it's funny. I was thinking about the song that I want played at my funeral. That's kind of going to me. <laughs> so take a note. Uh, yeah. Well, I've already publicized that to my family, oddly enough. I know this went really dark in a hurry, didn't it? Well, maybe it's a good song. Um, I'm a, I've been listening a lot. I listen to Sirius XM. Mm -hmm. So I've been listening to a lot of Tom Petty lately. So pretty much love any Tom it. Petty you put on, yes. it, I, it just. So uh, good. And I can listen to it day after day. So good. I saw him in concert when I was I never in my did, upper teens. So I'm yeah, jealous. it was really cool. Um, favorite vacation spot? It's hard when you live at the beach, right? Um, my wife and I had a my wife and I had a great time in Paris. Ooh. And I think we'd like to go back to Paris sometime. Nice. Um, and I also I'm sure we'd like to go to some fancy island somewhere too. Right. Right. Like just, go to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And what is your favorite mobile app? Oh, it's my coastal refocus. There app, you go. Course. You know, it's so funny because I usually say to people, GBN has an app, but now you have your own. So, yes, right. of course. So, sorry, Todd. <laughs> of course, which I do want to get that information. Yeah, of course. Um, so, yeah, the app you said can be, um, you're in the App Store? In the Apple App Store or on the Android Play Store. And on the Android Play Store, and it's, it's coastal, coastal Refocus. Refocus. So, you just do a search, um, it should pop up. And, yeah. Yep. Perfect. And we have coastalrefocus.com, yep. right, for your website. You can get in touch with Tim. Um, at 854-212-2383, also coastalrefocus.com. Um, and one more thing before we go, why is referral marketing so important to you? And specifically, why do you choose to be a member of GBN? So referrals to me are, are fundamental to growth. Mm -hmm. they're, they're fundamental to my success in my business. Um, I looked at numbers roughly last night, and I think, from, from referrals through GBN alone, my revenue was up $10,000 last year from what it would have been. And right. this year it's going to be even more. That's fantastic. Um, but that, that aside, I mean, that's, that's the monetary piece. I think the, the, the friendship piece, the collaboration piece, the um, being able to, to link up with like-minded business people is just, it's worth so much more than, than that. Yeah. The 10,000 yeah. is great. Right. But, um, what I get from, from collaborating with the people that I will, I see every week in GBN is, is worth a whole lot more. Right. Friends first business second. Yep. 
You know, it's true. It's true. It works. Well, thanks for joining us today, yeah, Tim. Good to be here. Um, yeah, I had a great time talking to you. Thanks for watching, everyone. And remember, if it's Wednesday, it's GBN Live. See you next time.